applying a system lens to the things I encounter in my practice stems from an interest in the transformation of things. It's important to me to think of not what things are, but what they're doing and what they could do. My name is Nolan Oswald Dennis. I'm an artist in residence at Delfina Foundation, part of the Collecting as Practice residency program. My practice in general is interested in thinking about space and time, uh, which we could also say like place and history as a system rather than a site, which I take to mean something that is done rather than something that is. And if we think about time and place or time and space as things that are done or things that are being done or things that have happened, we can also think about them as things that can happen differently and can be done differently, can be performed differently. As part of collecting as practice, I've been looking at science museums, which I think about as institutions, cultural institutions that perform um, knowledge rather than collect knowledge through languages of kind of demonstration and participation and using them to think through uh, what the kind of mode of collecting that happens in these kinds of institutions is as well as what the kind of status of objects are in these institutions. Uh, objects that must do something rather than um, be something or stand in for something. I've been spending time during my Delfina residency at the Science Museum in London, um, the Royal Observatory at Greenwich, the Planetarium, and just trying to kind of come to terms with what's at stake in these institutions and also thinking very seriously about how the lessons coming out of the movement to decolonize museums might apply to these kinds of museums. It's also important to me to think about these institutions not as presenting a history but as participating in the production of a present and a future. Uh, and so Greenwich is a really important site to me because it's a place where a kind of arbitrary decision becomes both performed as a fact but also propagated as a kind of structure around which the entire world is organized. I'm really interested in this zero point and this meridian line, the prime meridian. Um, I've been spending time at Greenwich just watching how the prime meridian is performed and how in its kind of performance it does a double thing. One, it references a kind of history uh, that has to do with kind of trade along the Thames and um, kind of colonial expansion, but also a kind of uh, performative present, which is uh, kind of humorous in its kind of failure to deliver, um, at least what I see as its failure to deliver. Um, but also there's something maybe uh, sinister in the way that it disarms itself. And I'm interested in these uh, kind of complex um, oscillations that happen in a science museum between history and future, between a kind of account of the development of things as well as a kind of uh, innocence and wonder around uh, the function of things. And I'm, I'm really interested in how those uh, qualities um, can be used for something else, for a different history, for a different future, for a kind of decolonial project um, of possibility. Mm -hmm.